so uh, today I'm going to be installing a LS117 INCRA um, router fence on an INCRA router table and this router table is equipped with the wheels so it's real easy to move around in fact we'll go ahead and drop it down and it is equipped with a uh, router lift um, made by Jessam for INCRA as well as a clean sweep and I'm real excited about these because it's going to offer me the ability to do precision um, routing. Um, this is one of their flagship products, so I expect it to be really well done. Oh, wow, look at this. There's this beautiful atlas in here of all the different things you can do with it. It's, this is probably one of the best things I've seen from Incro so far, so I'm really excited about this. Um, quick instructions on how to use the tool. Uh, this is exciting. It's going to take me some, while to ma some time to master this, but this is really, really exciting. So, like everything else from Anchor, it's really well packed in environmentally responsible and friendly materials. All this cardboard will recycle. The city of Houston has a great recycling program. Oh wow, it even comes with a DVD on how to use it. That's exciting. I'll have to watch that tomorrow or tonight. Um, there are a whole bunch of little strips of some sort or another um, that come with it. I guess they tell you how to use it. There's a right angle fixture. I have no idea what this is yet. Uh, maybe that means it's supposed to stay in here. There is a fence complete with one of these little strips mounted in it. I wonder if, oh, and they do come out. Uh, more hardware. A free push block, that's, that's nice. More hardware, it rattles. Must be something neat. And then, this is probably 20 pounds. It's the, I think it's the positioner. So I'm just gonna set it there. Still more hardware. Check inside the box and that's it. So, Let's open the instructions and see what they have to say. Alright, so the first step is to get this thing mounted. And to do that, I need the hardware that's in this bag. And like the other, um, like the clean sweep, the hardware is clearly labeled in nice little bags. And um, I have the base model which is actually still pretty stellar. There apparently is an ultra model and I guess at some point I might upgrade to that. So the first thing to do is I'm going to take the this out and it goes here. And now I have to figure out which piece I bought, so I guess I need my packing slips. So, I have the 17 inch model, which means I need a 19 and 3 quarter inch lead from the center of the router. So, I'll just slide this over, hold that where I think it is. There's no way 
for this to go 19 three quarter inches. There's no way that puts it off the table. It's a beautiful lead screw, I'll give it that. So the instructions apparently are not written to accommodate this table. That's extremely frustrating. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to wing it. And I'm going to use the back screws and just figure it out as we go because the way this works is uh, once I get it where I want it, I'll tighten it from the bottom anyway. It's a good thing I'm using the back ones because there's a bar in the way on the other ones. Yep, and I wouldn't be able to use those. So, it's really good that I want to do what I want to do. Because the others are worthless. But, you know what? Like I said, I'm just going to wing it. I think I got this figured out. That kind of brings that there. Now I'm going to see if I can accommodate the 19 and 3 quarter inches, which I don't see. It says at least four inches of this thing has to be on the table. So I'm going to put a little tiny mark on the side. And then I'm going to go back and double check the instructions. Yep. Okay, so we got this in. <laughs> and I can't quite get 19 and 3 quarters, but I can get pretty darn close. So I'm just going to tighten these by hand and then I'll find a wrench for them. And I think I need to, I, I need to, okay, so that, that's that. At least 
they give you plenty of cheap uh, wrenches. All right, so uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of set up for attaching the, the fence. All right, so that's attached. Now I need to figure out how this goes. And I have no idea what product this is, and this is a set of instructions that applies to everything they make. LS standard system. That doesn't tell me what I've got. It looks like... This doesn't seem right. I need a picture of this thing. Maybe it goes like this, but that doesn't make any sense either. Yeah, well it does, because it's got to go like this. Well, I might have to go back to the box because I, I need to, the instructions don't say how this actually should look and they're written for their premium product. So we look here. I don't understand why it's set up backwards. Only thing I can figure is this must slide out. I guess I unlock this and move it to the other end. I just don't understand why they would set it up backwards like this. So, this is weird, it just, it was assembled backwards. And then at this point, we just need to center this. I think that's approximately right. Thumb tighten these. So 
So I want to get this nice and secure because I don't think it's going to go anywhere. And who knows, if I got it backwards, I can always move it again. I think it's some kind of a work stop. So it means I'll probably end up moving that thing again anyway. You know, it's sad. The instructions started out good, but they just, they suck because they tried to write one set of instructions that applies to everything. Whoever wrote this book here needs to go back and write their instructions. Because this is really well illustrated. It's nice. Can't say the same thing about the instructions. Hopefully the DVD is nicer. So now what I want to do is I'm going to pull this forward to check my level. Ah, darn it. Well, the edge of the plate will be level. And this is, all I'm trying to do is get to the point where I can't move that back any further, but I can move this rule. So that's okay. So first things first, I need to level this and then I need to secure these. So, all right, so I've locked down the router fence. It's squared to the router and I'm just tightening these uh, up with a wrench. I can't find a 7 16 socket. It's time for me to buy some wrenches and some more sockets. They just kind of grow legs and run away. It's been a while since I bought one. No big deal. So at this point, this should be Oh, I need to move this over. That's what the problem is. I was trying to figure out why the router wasn't lining up with the fence, but I realized the fence can be moved. All right, that is pretty darn good. So now I am adjusting this to mark zero. Um, this is nice, it's magnetic. And then at this point, oh, that's beautiful. It really does work. You can move it a thousandth of an inch or so if you need to. And you can unlock it and you can slide it to close, put it in mid, and then you can adjust it a thousand. Each click is a thousandth of an inch. That is beautiful. And then you can lock it in place, at which point that doesn't move. Phenomenal. So let's see what the next thing the instructions have us do is.
right, so now I've got some other boxes that aren't talked about in the instructions. We'll see if we can figure out what they do. So I have a right angle fixture. And what's this other thing? In a box that's hard to open. Yeah, so I think I'll put that together in a second. This is my stop. So I believe the way this works goes there. I'm not sure how this assembles. Yeah, this is definitely not a Craig tool. Some of the Craig stuff's actually really nice. Um, this is interesting. It's very precise, I just don't know how it's supposed to work. A lot of setup here, so I don't, I just don't know what this does. I think I'm also going to need a little toolbox for this thing.
Okay, I think I see, I'm beginning to see what's going on here. So, this is going to take some learning, that's for sure. See lots of little pieces that can easily get lost. So I'm guessing this would have to slide back. Hmm. This needs a Ziploc bag. All right, and then we have a right angle fixture that we need to assemble. Yeah, the majority of this is is right here. That's actually what this is bought, was bought for. All this stuff, I. Not 100% sure how this works. At least this one has some instructions.
Okay, so these screws go together. And they drop into these wooden blocks. And then you put a nut on the other side and that's what holds it in. Okay, so there we have it. So then the little nylon nuts go onto the little nylon screws and they just screw into this end cap here. I'm not really sure what they do, but I'll figure that out later. They probably get broken off or stripped. So now I'm missing a white nylon nut. Well, let's see if it went in here some re for some reason. I don't see it there. I guess one of them doesn't have one. Oh, yep, yep, it says one of them doesn't have one. That's why I'm missing one. Okay, well that's why. Okay, so those are the tension guides and the reason this looks weird is, well, because it is. I'm sitting here looking at this going, how does this work? So, this is how this works. Alright, so this is exciting. It looks like these simply unscrew. There we go. So this lets you run, I guess, larger stock or an auxiliary fence right here. So, you know, I've got all the toys for this, and um, I'm excited.
So this, this project's finished. It's put together, the router's installed, and I have the work stop and its little toys. I'm gonna put this in a bag because I, I, I just have visions of this stuff vanishing. And um, you know what? This can all go in here because all these little all these little nuts and things, this shit's just gonna vanish. So I put it in here, it should stay put. Well, that doesn't go in there because this is not a spare. That needs its own bag. And nice little push block. Oh, there's some other weird stuff in here. Oh, it's a cutting guard. So I guess I'll be making some drawers or storage for this thing somehow, but that's not today's project. Do not touch router blade while it is running. Okay, great, thanks. I don't know what I would ever do without that advice. A really nice little acrylic, um, probably laser cut on top of that. Yeah, absolutely laser cut because I can see the marks on it. I can then run this up like this. All right, so we're all good to go. I gotta get some bags. Thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed uh, watching me put together this Inker router table. I'm real excited about it. And now at this point, I'm gonna clean up and probably call it a night because I'm tired. And I think tomorrow I'm gonna do the rigid table saw and once I get the table saw assembled, um, I'll start in on the Inkra fence system that goes with it. I'm not gonna mount the rigid fence system. Thanks for watching, have a great day.